Okay, so now on to count triangles, the third exercise in lesson 15 on codility. Um, let's get straight into this. Okay, an array A consisting of n integers is given. A triplet PQR is triangular if it's possible to build a triangle with sides of length A, P, A, Q and A, R. In other words, triplet PQR is triangular if 0 is less than or equal to P, is less than Q, is less than R, is less than N. And A, P and A, Q is greater than A, R. A, Q and A, R is greater than A, P and AR and AP is greater than AQ. For example, consider this array. There are four triangular triplets that can be, structured, can be constructed from elements of this array, namely 0, 2, 4, which is 10, 5, and 8, 0, 2, 5, which is 10, 5, and 12, 0, 4, 5, which is 10, 8, and 12, and 2, 4, 5, which is 5, 8, and 12. Write a function that given array A consisting of n integers returns the number of triangular triplets in this array. So in this example, the function should return 4. Write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions. n is an integer within the range of 0 and 1,000. And each element of array A is an integer from one to a billion. Okay, so I'm gonna prepare this class and then we'll get straight into it. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort the array and then I'm gonna loop from, I'm gonna do some sort of caterpillar method starting at the back and pushing the front of the caterpillar forward, depending on whether we can build triangles or not. Let's just uh, go through this one step at a time. So first thing I'm gonna do is sort the array. So I'm just going to comment what we're going to end up with in our example. 10, 2, 5, 1, 8, 12. We're going to end up with 1, 2, 5, 8, 10, 12. And then I'm going to have my caterpillar back. I'll call this cat back. It starts at position 0, so it starts at the 1. It's going to move forward, but it's going to stop at a length minus 2 because this we need two values in front to build a triangle. And I'm going to increase it by 1 each time. Now my caterpillar front, um, I'm going to start that off at cat back plus 2. So if cat back is one, cat front will be five there. And then I'm gonna look at the mid positions in the array. So I'll just call this M. It starts off at cat back plus one. It can only go as far as A length minus one. And we'll add one in onto it each time so it starts if cat back is there it starts one ahead of cat back it can only go as far as the end minus one because this is the middle length side of the triangle cat back is the small size cat front is the large size now i'm going to try and push cat front as far forward as we can go so while cat front, uh, it can only go as far as the end of the array. And if a cat back plus a m 
is greater than a cat front in other words if we can make a triangle so the small side the middle side is greater than the top side we can make a triangle we know that all the other triangle conditions are going to be met because these are sorted so if we can do that we'll move cat front forward one when we can no longer do it we can't build a triangle we can count the triangles that we can make here so for example with the five and the eight we started off with cap front there we push cap front as far as we can go five eight twelve but we know we can make a triangle with five eight twelve if we can do that which we can we can also make it with five ten and twelve so we want to increase the number of triangles we've got by cap front minus m so if that's five and that's three we can make two triangles if we didn't push it forward at all so if cat back is one and m is two cat front is five we didn't push it forward at all so we had no triangles so cat front minus m minus one would be zero so we want to increment our number of triangles i'll set a triangle counter to increment our number of triangles by cap front minus m minus one so if we've managed to put cap front forward one place we get one more triangle if we pushed it two places we get two more triangles because if any two of these make a triangle say if these two could make a triangle of 12 then also that and that could make it with 12 and 1 and 8 make it with 12 and 1 and 10 would make it with 12 they don't but we can step forward with the middle and we'll get those get those triangles another point is when we next go through this mid loop we can leave cap front where it is we don't have to reset it back if we put that down here we'd be resetting cap front back but we don't need to reset it back each time because we know We've pushed it as far as we could so far for the previous value so it can carry on for the next value and finally we just need to return triangles and let's see if that works for the example we want the answer for and we've got four so let's just go through that in debug and check it's doing what I think it's doing. Okay, so we start by sorting the array. We have 1, 2, 5, 8, 10, 12. We start off with cat back at 0, index 1, index 0, value 1, and cat front at 2, 5. We start with a mid position of 1, which is looking at the 2. We can't move the front forward, we count no triangles. We now start a mid position of five, we move the front to eight, but we still have no triangles. Then we have a mid eight, we move the front to 10, we still have no triangles. We look at 10, move the front to 12, still no triangles. Now we move cat back to two. Front is eight, mid is five, we have no triangle there we move the mid to 8 the front to 10 but we have no triangle 
we move the mid to 10 and the front to 12 we have no triangle and then we move cat back to index 2 which looks at 5 cat front is looking at 10 mid is 8 we move the cap front to 12 and move it off the edge because 5 and 8 will make a triangle with 10 and 5 and 8 will make a triangle with 12 so we count those two now we move our mid to look at the 10 and 5 and 10 will make a triangle with 12 so we count that one that's 3 then we move cat back to position 3 looking at 8 cat front looks at 12 mid is 10 we move cat front forward and count the triangle 8 10 12 and finally we return four triangles so I'm reasonably confident that's happening that's um working i'm not entirely sure about efficiency but i don't think how we could make it more efficient so i'm going to submit that and see how it does run the tests we know it's going to pass the example test because we've just run through it Let's submit it and see how it does. And 100%. So that's my solution to Codility's count triangles. Thanks for watching.